is going on guys adam here at hound of hell gaming so we're going to be running a simulation here today we're going to do a hell in a cell match between bobby lashley and dave batista now there's been a lot of talk recently online of bobby lashley trying to coax batista out of retirement for one last match um see when they were both full-time wrestlers this would have been a very interesting match or maybe it wouldn't maybe the two styles wouldn't work because they're very similar but right now i mean i watched batista's one of his newest films recently knock at the cabin decent film god he looks old and i love batista he's an absolutely class guy fantastic wrestler he was my favorite wrestler for a period of time but i think his day is done and i don't think bobby lashley is a big enough name for him to come out of retirement brock lesnar maybe who knows WrestleMania is where Batista gets what he wants. Who could forget Batista's victory over Triple H for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 21. Unmatched power and intensity about to be unleashed on the grandest stage of them all. Tonight has just become almighty. And per normal, Lashley is ready for a fight. And his opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Tonight, the showcase of the Immortals becomes the showcase of the Almighty. Yeah, there's no question that a win here tonight would no doubt solidify Lashley's place in this industry. Yeah. Bobby Lashley has wasted very little time putting every other WWE superstar on notice. Bobby Lashley is all about discipline. The son of a United States drill sergeant, former uh, serviceman himself, high impact personified. What type of approach does a superstar need in order to win a matchup like this, Corey? It's important to remember that you can't win a match like this on emotion alone. You have to devise a plan and execute. Once locked in the cell, we've seen superstars embrace a new, sadistic level of barbaric behavior. I agree, Byron, and it's all out of necessity. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Heading back to the ring, he went right into that turnbuckle. It's deep, and I don't think it's playable. Oh, he's feeling it. Got him in his sights. Boom! One wicked attack after another. You better have an aptitude for pain, because it just keeps coming. Is there a special secret to winning a Hell in a Cell match? You have to be willing to leave your humanity behind. Become the most vicious possible version of yourself, because that's what it takes to win inside Hell in a Cell. Oh, he's up at the plate now. Oh, boom. And each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. What the hell, a slam. There's a reason this structure is called the Devil's Playground. The cell is carnal, wicked, and uncivilized. This is Hell in a Cell. 
Oh, my goodness, dribbling the opponent. The cover, shoulders down. Strong kick out there. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Big forearm. Oh! Throwing down the proverbial gauntlet. Where is this going to go next? He steps foot in the ring again. Uh-oh. Reversal on Lashley. Oh, ouch. Power slam. Incoming. Big time. He thinks he has it. Just after two. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. He's absorbed some damage already. Look at this. Boom. Nice. And now in the most dangerous area inside the cell. He's got a sledgehammer, and you better believe his opponent's name is all over it. Setting up for something here. Oh, God. And will this be it? stops the ref's count. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Saw it coming. Able to give him the slip. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. There! By Batista! Batista! With a patented Batista bomb! Match-ending power. Cover! Two! He kicked out at two. Lashley able to find more power in that endless tank of his to get the shoulder up. Not many people escape defeat after Batista gets hold of you and executes that maneuver. Back in the ring now. Batista finds the advantage. So confident is Batista. He thinks he's got this one all sewed up. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh! Using that chair to play mind games with his opponent. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Heads out of the ring. What's next? He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, as Batista just unleashed on him. Could be a sign of things to come. Catches an uppercut. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Boom. Oh. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Oklahoma slam! From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash! Oh, and a reversal. Batista avoids impact. I don't think any of these superstars are going to show any quit at this point. Never say die attitude on full display. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. Setting foot in the ring now. Got him set up. This could be it, Corey. Is there any air left in Lashley? Two! So there we have it guys, the animal comes out on top, as anyone with half a brain cell would expect.
I don't think that they're even in the same league in terms of the careers. I think Batista, way beyond where Bobby Lashley's ever been, and I don't see Lashley going much further than he already has. Maybe never even capturing a World Heavyweight title again. Batista definitely unleashed the beast tonight.